Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today on the healing bench we have this uh, laptop charger that unfortunately had the jack pulled off. This was repaired previously once by the owners but unfortunately the cables were stripped all the way to the end of the connector here so they weren't able to repair that themselves and I once previously repaired this where the cable was plugged from uh, the circuit board inside and I had that glued on with hot glue. Hopefully that still survives. Before going into the repair, I'm gonna try the charger on, make sure that it outputs proper voltage before even attempting to solder the connector. Okay, so first signs, we have a green LED here. So that hopefully is a good indication. Now let's see what, what the voltage would be on the output, 19.5, that's about right. And I have the polarity mixed, so this one here on the right side, the red one is positive and the uh, black one is negative. So the charger is working and the cable is intact. So let's now try and strip away some of the plastic on the connector and try to resolder the wires. Now the wires although present are being terminated all the way in so just to make sure that they add a proper electrical isolation later on I would try and remove a bit of the plastic here so go a bit further down until I can be sure that the insulation is no longer damaged because at least on the black wire you could see that the damage goes all the way till the end there so i want to make sure that when i fix this it won't be ever possible to go as a short circuit so let's try and use the knife Okay, so I stripped away of the plastic a bit and it just occurred to me to check if the connector is even uh, good enough to, to use it to bother. So I have the meter on continuity and let's test. Okay, so we do have continuity from the center. Let's try the outside. Okay, so the connector is good so we can continue with our repair. Now to strip away some of the insulation, I'll try the automatic clamp and that worked perfectly fine. I'm going to strip away a bit more so I can then cut off the excess and the bad wires that we have here and strip away some new copper that we can then solder. Okay, so this one doesn't want to come out. Okay, that should be enough. Now, since I don't have enough wire here to cut, then I'm gonna be soldering directly to what I have available. I'm going to cut away just a tiny bit and I'm going to actually solder it like this so then I can tie this together and have the cables not pulling directly on the solder joints. Okay, so that should be okay. Let's get the soldering iron. And unfortunately, as soon as I twisted those wires together on the cable that exposed, that bit of wire just fell off. So it was probably just twisted and hanging on to the threads. I'm going to now strip away a bit more of this plastic, hopefully exposing just the red wire. And the black looks like okay to be soldered and we'll see what happens. 
So here I stripped away some of the plastic and I got exposed the remainder of the red wire. I'm going to cut off these strings and hopefully we can now solder both ends and have some sort of, uh, we'll see, arrangement for the cables as long as the connections are done and they could still pull on the plastic bit. It should be fine and it shouldn't break up later on. And I've now soldered both wires with them being so further apart. There is no chance of them being shorted. Let's add a bit of heat shrink just to make sure that everything stays nice and isolated. And I'm going to press it around the wire as well. Now, before proceeding with further securing this, let's make sure that it works as expected. I have it plugged in into the mains and we do get the 19.5 volts. So now we have this electrically fixed, but I don't think that it's gonna hold up mechanically because as soon as it's being pulled from the laptop, it's gonna break one of the connections. So. I'm gonna use uh, some five minute epoxy to strengthen this whole part and maybe even use some of this um, epoxy putty to mold around some extension to the connector. So hopefully we make this mechanically strong. Now the whole connector is covered with epoxy, probably I rushed it a bit, so it's still a bit runny, that's why I'm keeping it uh, moving, so it doesn't collect at a single point. We'll give it a few minutes to, to harden and we'll assess later on if we need to add anything more or if this is sturdy enough that it can live like that on its own. So. Let's see after the epoxy solidifies, let's see how it's gonna behave afterwards. So it's been about a few minutes now. The epoxy is now like jelly and it's no longer running. And I think I have it basically covering the whole connector. I made sure not to get any on the actual connector part but just around the plastic and I made sure to have epoxy all over it. So it kind of helps with the mechanical stability of the whole thing. We'll give it a few more minutes to properly solidify and then probably even 24 hours before the next coat, we'll see if there will be need to apply some of this uh, putty. A few more minutes in, the epoxy is basically dry to the touch so i've put the connector in the helping hand and i have it raised up a bit on the other side so it maintains its shape i'm gonna give it a proper time to settle and we'll see if we need to add the putty i don't think it's gonna need it it depends on the strength of the epoxy but we'll see after it fully cures and after more than 24 hours, the epoxy had time to fully cure and it's now rock solid. 
and this is now sturdy and can be again used on the laptop. I decided not to use the other epoxy because I think that this should be strong enough for the purpose that it's gonna have. But I have used that in a previous video where I made this mixing cable, mono to stereo. You can see the video up here. Uh, and that also is working very well so far. So the both connectors are still solid and haven't disconnected. So if you like this video, then be sure to hit the like button below. Make sure to subscribe to see me do more repairs and I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheers.